As Jesus continued down the road, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked, Good teacher, what must I do to obtain eternal life? And Jesus replied, Why do you call me good? No one is good except the one God. You know the commandments. Don't commit murder. Don't commit adultery. Don't steal. Don't give false testimony. Don't cheat. Honor your father and mother. Teacher, he responded, I've kept all of these things since I was a boy. Jesus looked at him carefully and loved him. And he said, you are lacking one thing. Go sell what you own and give all the money to the poor. And then you will have treasure in heaven. And come follow me. But the man was dismayed at this statement and went away saddened because he had many possessions. Looking around, Jesus said to his disciples, It will be very hard for the wealthy to enter God's kingdom. His words startled the disciples. So Jesus told them again, Children, it's difficult to enter the, God's kingdom. It's easier for a camel to squeeze through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter God's kingdom. And they were shocked even more and said to each other, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them carefully and said, It's impossible with human beings, but not with God. All things are possible for God. And Peter said to him, Look, we've left everything and followed you. And Jesus said, I assure you that anyone who has left house and brothers, sisters, mother, father, children, or farms because of me and because of the good news will receive 100 times as much now in this life. Houses, brothers, sisters, mothers, children, and farms with harassment, and in the coming age, eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and many who are last will be first. 